Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew. And welcome to a new do play. We're si we're playing today, as you can see, Mega Man X, one of the greatest. It it is it, I I can't I can't really add to that because it is just it it is my absolute favorite game of the Super Nintendo era. Yeah, and so anyway, uh, as you can see, I I, I did a little uh, control switch up thingy. I personally, this is just a, a little pro tip. I find it a lot easier to dash jump when dash is the R button instead oh. of X. It makes it a lot easier instead of trying to like slide your hand along. Hmm. I'd have to get just, used to that. Yeah, just a little, just a little tip. That's something I've been doing since I was a wee babby. <laughs> a wee babby. <laughs> a wee little babby. I guess that that kind of speaks to uh, how much I love this game and uh, how long I've been playing it. Because like when we played uh, Super Metroid, I noticed that you had your own your personal control scheme figura configuration as well. Yeah. I've yeah. noticed that, like, when people have these games that are just, like, the game you've been playing for the past 20 years, and you know it better than anything else, and you love it more than anything on this earth, <laughs> you, 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 you tend to start to personalize it. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you know, I, after having played it for, like, so long, it's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, well, yeah, I can do this without changing it, but it works so much better if I do it this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like and like I said, like I find it so much easier to jump dash. Ooh, crap. Um. After when you have it as the uh, the R button. Oh no! You <laughs> got stuck in the B. <laughs> Dude, how hurt rocking are you right now that you took damage on this level? I, I mean, you heard me like ugh, audibly gasp when I took damage on that boss. <laughs> I'm hurt broken. Oh, I love I love doing that. If you uh, get the one to fall, then the one that's connected to it will also fall. Will also, that's cool. Uh, uh, yeah, I just I don't know why I just like doing that. Oh, there we go, back to the fall. Okay. Um. I don't know. Do we want to uh? Spoil spoilers? Yes, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's a statute of limitations on spoilers. Everybody. Everybody watching this, you should know what's happening. Um, yeah. I mean, basically, okay. a, little bit, so, a little bit of background oh, story. Um, Mega Man X is... At, well, that's X. Um, he's a yes, robot. this is X. Um, I guess actual backstory... Um, and um, I might put up something um, related to the instruction manual. Uh, the instruction manual that came with this game actually had a lot of backstory in it. Oh, that's um, cool. The whole the whole thing about like Dr. Kane finding X in a lab and like creating the reploids from X's design and everything that's all in the instruction manual. Like there's a whole chunk of story you don't get if you don't read the instruction manual. Really? That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's like um, the instruction manual comes with these diaries of Dr. Kane. From like when he found X. Nice. Um, so should I like actually try and fight Vile, or do you want me to just like <laughs> just get, jump him. cut to the chase? <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a no-win fight, so <laughs> yeah. Although it is a his... possible possible to actually lose. I found out just recently. Yes, he can actually kill you if that little um, <clears throat> blast. Misses you. Yeah. You All right. So, into worth. I'll I'll leave these up long enough for people to read them, but I don't I don't think we need to uh, do any voice acting here. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and zero. My heart is a flutter. <laughs> I'm getting. Oh. I'm, I'm getting the, a case of the vapors. <laughs> <getting> the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I cannot tell you how how much I love Zero, and yeah. like no matter what they do to his character later, Zero will always be one of my favorite video game characters of all time. <laughs> and, like I, I literally squealed when they announced he was going to be in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's just uh. so cool. 
I want, I want to, I want to also put this out out here. We're doing our best not to game grumps and or sequelitis this. Yes. Um, <clears throat> just as a heads up to anybody watching, if you haven't seen Ego Raptors sequelitis on this game, you should watch it. Not only is it entertaining, but he does make a lot of really legitimate points about yeah. not just this game, but game design in general. Yeah, he does a really good and, job of explaining why, how, why this is as well designed as it is. Yes. Um, <laughs> one of the things that this game does um, that it, you know, he talks about it in, in Sequelitis, and I'm just going to gloss over it because I think it is so very important is um, making the player learn by doing. I know we talked about this in Don't Starve, so yeah. if, if you saw those videos, I apologize for repeating myself. But in the philosophy of game design and teaching the players, if I could hammer home one lesson, it would be that. Yeah. Don't, if you can help it, don't give your players like huge tutorials and all of these control screens and everything like you know, try chance. and make your experience as streamlined as possible and just let them let them explore let them learn but like design it in such a way that the most obvious thing to do is what you want them to do don't just like have signs saying hey go this way and then a big pop-up comes up and it's like hey you should press a b x y to do the <laughs> super jump maneuver also, you should never have a press A, B, X, Y to do anything in your game. If you, <laughs> if you need to press all four buttons, you're doing it wrong. Uh, unless it's a fighting game. <clears throat> Even then, I'm, like, pretty rubbish at... I, I know I said I love Marvel vs. Capcom, but I'm so bad at it, because I can never remember all the combos. Mm. That's one of the things I really love about Brawl in the Super Smash Bros. series, is every character has the exact same move set. It's yeah. just... You know, A, your A and your B, and then your directions and those buttons. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so here we have the very first capsule. Um, I just went ahead and chose Chill Penguin, because you always do Chill Penguin. Um, we'll get into the boss order we're going to do after Chill Penguin. But pretty much, I mean, unless you want to do, like, hard mode, always do Chill Penguin first. Yeah, because it's, it's really a good idea. Yeah. Now, one thing about these capsules that I never really understood is, like, is is this, like, an artificial intelligence, like, brain scan of Dr. Light, or are these just, like, pre-recorded messages? Um, I'm not sure, because, I mean, he seems to so, respond to, uh... Yeah, like, yeah, like so... Like, in later games, um, doesn't he respond to Zero? Yes, I was actually going to bring up that exact point. In in Mega Man X5, you can switch back and forth between X and Zero. And Zero can actually, like, get the capsules for X. Hmm. But he can't, like, do anything with them. And, like, Zero kind of talks to the light, and he's just like, Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I got nothing for you, but, like, uh, you can send this data back to HQ and bring it to X. And he's like, Okay, cool, I, I guess I'll do that. That's but cool. Yeah, like, Dr. Light actually acknowledges Zero. This has got to be like some right. sort of programmed AI. Yeah, something like that. I'm just not sure if it's, uh, you know, um, actually Dr. Light or just, like, some sort of construct that he created. Hmm. Uh, you'll see I could have jumped up here, um, we'll come back there later once I have the fire weapon. I can pick up a heart tank that's up there. I just decided I'd show off the lower levels the first time around. Oh, dang. Got hit again, dude, what is wrong with me? Oh, dude, you're, no! You're getting wrecked. I'm getting, I'm rusty. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a, it's been a while since I've played this game. It's been a hot minute? Uh, a couple months, yeah. Like, again, <laughs> This is like... your super retro. <laughs> This this is my Super Metroid. Like this is the game that I come back to time and time again yeah. because I just love it so much. Here we have good old Chill Penguin. Like 
I like how I like how um like in every Mega Man game it's always been something man. Ever since like you know, Mega Man 1, it's always been something man. It's been just some like dude. I, I remember like I, I played this after I played like Mega Man, Mega Man 2, and I was like, they're animals? Is that Yeah, <laughs> I, I really like um how different this is from the past Mega Man games. Ah, I took a gamble and I lost. Mm. <laughs> Oh well, he's chill penguin, it's whatever. Yeah, he's it's a all, chump. It's all good. There's a uh a record of sorts. Oh look at me talking like an old man. <laughs> there <laughs> there's an album when uh, I was out married. called uh Maverick Rising. It's a collection of remixes by various um artists from around the interwebs. It's the boys over um, at OC got, remix. Yeah. Old boys and um, girls. Yeah, if you haven't seen that or heard it, uh, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. There's some really great songs on there. Yeah, it's really good. All right, so what what's our what's our time looking like? Uh, if you think you can do the next level in three and a half minutes, I think we can fit one more in. Um, I'm gonna uh, we'll we'll cut it here actually because we gotta decide on the boss order. Oh yeah, that's and, true. Um, yeah, I'm thinking depending on length, we might just cut them up into uh, one level per episode depends how long it takes me to do these we might be we might get two in i don't know we'll see sounds good in that case we will catch you guys in the next episode Alrighty, catch you guys next time see ya